Now, in this particular example, I'm sharing with you a solution, a typical solution, where we have high wind load situations. We need to create air tunnels when we design a matrix in a tracking system. Remember, there's a one point of connection, has an X on that particular point, and a big matrix. That mean, ma mean, uh, big matrix is subjected to high wind load. In order to eliminate it from vibrating, I have to let the air flow through of all sides. So what we do here, we raise up the center, we call it bed. There are three beds, left, center, and right. We raise the uh, central bed in such a way that air can go underneath. Not only cleaning that particular matrix, but reducing the high wind load. And this is another example. Same T-shape array. Same pyramid shape array. But in this particular example, we can see air slots in the T-shape in the also, where the arrows point to. These slots between the left side, the left part of the matrix and the right part of the matrix, reduce the high wind load. So all what we think when we design an array that goes on tracking system is reducing the wind load, reducing the stress on the mechanical elements, increasing the reliability, reducing the cost.